things are melting. Well, I came back from my little walkabout and uh, I've been doing some writing and I'm starting to get hungry. It's just after six o'clock. So I have uh, gotten my steak out. I got a nice fire going. It's getting really hot. Uh, I had to open the door because I was roasting. Um, put a nice steak. I just brought some uh, craft Italian dressing I had uh, in a little container. It was left over from my mom's hospital visit. She doesn't like dressing. so. I scooped it up for camping. I thought it'd be nice and convenient. And uh, just put that down so the steak is frying up nicely. Got some water on. I'm gonna make some um, hot apple cider with some spiced rum. And I also have some rice that I cooked this morning. Uh, it's just fine herbs and, herbs and wild rice or something like that. It's pre-cooked. So um, whenever the steak is ready, I'm just gonna put it in there and heat it up and dinner will be done. Easy peasy. One thing I really love about winter camping is, um, well there's a lot of things I love, but one thing I really love about winter camping is cooking because it's so easy, you know, you've already got the wood stove going, you've got a nice fire in there, you're nice and warm. Um, it does get a little too hot in here sometimes uh, when I'm cooking, but other than that, it's fantastic. I bring whatever I want, I cook it on the stove, I sit here, I'm nice and toasty warm, the food is great, it cooks great, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm not really a big fan of making a steak in a frying pan though, I like to have a steak on a fire, um, but I kind of planned this trip last minute, as I generally do with these trips, and um, I just got back from St. Catharines Tuesday night, uh, from being with my mom in the hospital for like a week, so I just kind of grabbed a steak and thought oh, I'll just throw something together and make it really easy. Um, also, I love steak, so I'm sure it'll be delicious. Looks like it's just about done actually, so I'm gonna get the rice in the pan and start heating that up. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of making rice while I'm camping, almost never, because uh, I'm super messy when I'm cooking and rice just gets everywhere. But uh, I'll give it a go. Hopefully it'll be not too bad. I'm actually not super hungry. And I've got a few snacks for later, so I'm just gonna make a little bit of it. I'm not gonna make all of it. This should be plenty. And uh, hopefully my water is almost boiling so I can make my drink and, and have that when I'm done my dinner. Cheers, everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening, whatever you're doing tonight. Oh yeah, it's just perfect temperature to drink. <laughs> Ooh, it's really good. I haven't had too much of this this winter. It's one of my favorite winter drinks. It's very sweet. I'm gonna add some more hot water in a bit. Ooh. Um, so the selfie stick is on top of the plate, so see you later. <laughs> Looks better. <laughs> it's actually not that dirty. Everything came right out. That's why I love this thing. It's the best thing ever made for cleaning out pots and pans and stuff. Just love it. like every single grain of rice. <laughs> awesome. All right, my delicious dinner is ready. It is uh, 
Oh, ribeye steak and or strip loin. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a strip loin. Strip loin and some Uncle Ben's, I think it is. It's the packaged rice. It's like a dollar or something. And um, you just mix it with water and butter. And I cook it in the microwave. So I made it this morning and just brought it and heated it up. So I'm going to eat this before it gets cold. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It looks delicious. It smells really good in here too. Well, good morning. It is about 6.45 on Sunday and I woke up and I was just starved. I put the cookie sheet, uh, it's out there now because it was steaming hot. I put the cookie sheet on top of the stove and I made my toast and heated up my bacon. It was already cooked. I've got some hot water on the stove which I'm about to make some hot chocolate. And um, my frying pan has got some butter in it ready to go. I'm just going to make some over easy eggs. Uh, the problem is my trusty spatula that I've been taking camping since I think like my very first trip has finally broken. I just pulled it out of the uh, utensil bag and it was like this. Oh, I'm so sad. So um, I'm going to do my best to make the eggs with the silicone spatula and uh, hopefully they don't turn out too bad. All right, I managed to get the eggs successfully in the pan. I'm not sure if I'll be able to flip them over, but that's not a huge deal, I guess. I'll just get them out of there somehow. I put tons of butter in so they shouldn't stick, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I managed to flip them over though, and I didn't break them, so that's pretty awesome. I'm uh, just gonna slide them out of the pan onto my toast now and should be good to go. Yum. All right, well, the eggs are done. I didn't break them, so that's good. They look pretty good. Bacon's nice and toasty warm. I'm gonna go eat before it gets cold and uh, check out the beautiful view. The sun is just starting to come up. Unfortunately, it's coming up behind my tent, so hopefully I'll get a glimpse of that right after I finish breakfast. Yesterday, I had uh, mentioned that I picked up some milkweed when I was on my way in. I did use it to start the fire and it worked really good. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really get them here intact. They were Most of them were broken open and there wasn't a lot of the fluff from the middle left inside of them. Um, but they still lit up pretty good. So I'm going to keep those in mind for another time and uh, try to use those again. So yesterday I mentioned that I um, did not bring my Thermarest Ridge Rest mat um, for the ground mat, but did bring this sunshade that I got from Canadian Tire. Uh, it was $20 and it did a decent job, but um, around four o'clock in the morning, I was feeling the cold air um, coming up from the ground uh, through my Thermarest um, Neo Air and my sleeping bag, and I could feel it uh, underneath me. So um, it was only about minus six last night. It wasn't very cold. So I think for any uh, really cold trips, I will continue bringing the Thermarest Ridge Rest and um, leave this one at home uh, for the size difference even though this one folds up nice and flat and the other one is a big roll um, the other one is much warmer so just an FYI okay let's see how hard these steaks are to get out <laughs>
All right, I've got my sled all packed up and um, what I did on the back here was I attached a string. It's pretty long and uh, I have a really steep hill to go down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand at the top of the hill and uh, hold the rope and let the sled go down slowly. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna try to video it, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so on the way out, I have a couple of challenging downhills uh, before the big one. And this is one of those. The sled's supposed to go here, but there's a big dip right here. And I obviously want to avoid going into that. So what I did was I got a dead branch that was lying on the snow and stuck it in the ground there, bent it, stuck it in the ground there to act like a railing. Um, I also tied the rope from the back um, onto the end and it's just about to there so the sled should actually stop right there and it won't be able to go any farther so hopefully it works <laughs> all right that actually worked perfectly it slid right down the stick braced it so it didn't go into the hole and the rope stopped it just where I wanted it to so now I'm going to uh, let it down from the back and uh, I'll see if I can film it with my selfie stick. Well, I almost didn't get to film that when I untied it from the tree. It just started going down the hill. Um, but I stopped it. It's stuck on a tree there. So I'm going to set up the camera down here and let it down. <sighs> nice <laughs> well that was fun <laughs> um, I guess I could have just let the sled go down the hill but I thought it would just keep on going and uh, I don't know the first part of the hill when I did it I had the the rope and it was already taut but here it was slack and then when it started going I just couldn't stop it and the rope just slipped through my hands and burned my fingers so um, got a nice little rope burn on there but I'll survive I'm um, really glad I came out uh, I'm just gonna sign off now because I'm almost uh, at the end of the road here where um, I'm gonna go get my car and pack it up uh, I'm glad I came out uh, I really had a hard time coming out sometimes you know you just need that motivation and I, I don't always have it you know I really wanted to go on a trip uh, I don't think I've done a solo winter trip this year I think the uh, the last solo trip I did was the canoe trip in the snow and the Halliburton water trails I'm not hundred percent sure um, but I did get a lot of winter trips in this year which was awesome and um, I kind of forced myself to go out this weekend. It's been a rough couple of weeks. My mom was in the hospital last week and the week before. I spent my birthday in the hospital. Everybody was sending me wishes saying, oh, I hope you're outdoors enjoying camping. And I'm like, not really. But uh, it's kind of hard to share all the information all the time. So um, I like to keep some of my personal life personal. Um, but my mom is out of the hospital. She's doing better now. And um, I just discovered that I have tendonitis in my wrist. So I've got to get that healed up before uh, paddling season starts. Super excited for paddling season. Um, the next thing that's going to be happening, I believe, is um, the launch of my clothing line. It's called hashtag love the backcountry. And um, I'll be putting links all over the place so you guys can find it. And basically what you can get is uh, men's t-shirts, women's t-shirts. Um, I'm not sure if the buffs are going to be ready when the line is launched, but there will be buffs, two different kinds. And um, there's also going to be performance wear. So if you buy a long sleeve uh, shirt or a short sleeve shirt, um, you can choose to get a dry wig. So you can actually wear it out on trip and use it to, you know, do the things you love to do outdoors, not just have a t-shirt that you wear sometimes that you can't really wear you know when you go adventuring and um, there's going to be a couple of options that you can get you can get the logo on the front um, that just says uh, camper Christina or you can get the unisex logo that just says camper on the front and then for um, 
I think a small extra fee, you can get a saying on the back. There's going to be four sayings to choose from to start with. And um, underneath all the sayings will be hashtag love the backcountry. So um, there's going to be opportunities for prizes. Um, I'm going to have some keen giveaways this year. So uh, after you know you guys buy the shirts, if you do buy the shirts, hopefully you do, um, you can uh, put post pictures with hashtag love the backcountry. And uh, I'll enter people into contests to uh, win some keen footwear and stuff like that. So it's really exciting. I've been uh, working on this for quite a while now. and. Uh, I can't wait to, to get it to get it going. Um, so I hope you guys like that and uh, there'll be more information on that soon. Also coming up is the Ontario Backcountry Canoe Symposium. I will be there at the booth with John from Backcountry Custom Canoes. I will have a couple of shirts there. I might be wearing one of them, hopefully, if they get done on time. And uh, you guys can come and chat and talk about uh, the awesome skin on frame canoes that John makes. And um, yeah, other than that, we're gonna start, I'm gonna start trip planning now. I'm super excited because soft water season is coming and I'm really excited to get out in my canoe and my kayak and do some wicked backcountry trips. So um, I had a great winter. I hope you guys all had a great season and um, I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope everyone had a great winter and uh, let's get ready for paddling season. Bye.